Welcome to Creative Cooking. Today we're going to make couscous garbanzo. So let's get started. And what we have here are some basic ingredients. Four cloves of garlic, a special spice blend, and that is in the description below. A can of chickpeas that's been rinsed and drained, some olive oil. We also have some chicken broth and some couscous. The couscous is the Moroccan style, which is a much finer grain. And one note about the broth is that you can use vegetable broth if you want to make this vegan. We also have fresh parsley from my garden. Look at the size of those leaves, huh? Isn't that great? Oh yeah, nothing like fresh. We also have panoli, but we're not gonna put those in right away. We're going to toast those garbanzo beans in olive oil with those spices, and then we'll throw in the panolis later. So we'll start off with a hot nonstick pan and about one tablespoon, maybe a bit more of olive oil. And we'll toss them right into the pan. We'll start to heat them up. And the goal here is not to cook them since they're already cooked. We're just going to toast them. We want to heat them up, dry them out a little bit and toast them along with those spices. Because as well, you know, when you toast spices, you bring out the flavor. So, it's a dual purpose thing, and it's much better than just throwing them into the recipe without this preparation. So just keep tossing them around until they're nice and hot and just slightly crispy, toasty on the outside. And that's it. And that's all the preparation you have to do for that. And now I'll toss in some of those pinoli nuts, about maybe two or just under two tablespoons but if I was doing this without the garbanzo beans, I would have used the entire jar. I'll just give them another toss. And really all you want to do is toast them a little bit and just set that aside. And we'll get ready to make the couscous. For the couscous, we will start off with two tablespoons of olive oil. You know, you could do this with butter as well, but the rule is one tablespoon of lipid or fat uh, per cup of couscous. We're using two cups. Add the garlic to the pan, and you're gonna cook that for about 15 to 20 seconds, no more than that, because if you cook it longer, you might burn it, and if you burn it, it'll be bitter. So after about 20 seconds, go ahead and add your broth. It can be chicken broth, or it can be vegetable broth. And that'll be determined by whether or not you want this to be a vegan dish. It'll go either way. After that, add in your couscous, give it a quick stir, and uh, this will come right back to a boil in a matter of 10 seconds or so. And once that happens, all you have to do is turn off the heat, put the cover on, and let that sit undisturbed with the cover on for five minutes or more. And that's it. Add the hot couscous into a mixing bowl large enough to mix. And um, yeah, we're gonna take our previously chopped fresh parsley and we'll mix it in now. And the reason you do it this way and not put the parsley in while you're cooking it is you just want to wilt the parsley. You don't wanna cook it. It stays nice and green but yet it takes the flavors out and wilts it. And then look at those beautiful garbanzos, toasted nice and brown with all that spice. You just mix that into the mix as well. Okay, so I had a couple of green onions in the fridge and I went ahead and chopped those up on the diagonal as a garnish and it does add some flavor along with some of that reserved parsley also as a garnish. We want to make it look a little pretty too, right? And here I have some olive oil. You're going to say, gee Dave, that's a lot of olive oil. Well, it's not. Uh, most of the fat was absorbed by the couscous in the cooking process, and that's being added for flavor. And here, I have 
some flaked, uh, finely flaked red pepper as a garnish, but also to give you a little surprise heat, but not too much. And of course, we'll top that off with one of those beautiful parsley leaves. And there you go. It's a beautiful thing. It's a very easy recipe. And it tastes good at any temperature without spoiling. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope you join us next week for another great video made for people who like to cook. Until then, bon appetit.